is Dragovic, who's the recipient of breakdown in the rotation of the defense. Well, don't forget our coverage of the 2K Sports Classic benefiting coaches versus cancer continues tomorrow night with the final two games. The third place game comes your way at 5 Eastern. The Salukis of Southern Illinois will take on uh, either UCLA or Michigan, and whoever wins this game will take on Duke in the championship game at 7 Eastern. So it could be number four against number five if the Bruins win this Duke. UCLA could be pretty fun. Well, I got a feeling all the people in the world of television are hoping for a Duke UCLA <laughs> matchup. I mean, I really do. I think it's made for TV. The only dilemma might be the fact that everybody's caught up with a football frenzy on a weekend and it really gets lost in, a, in the scene there. A couple of big games on, on ABC this weekend with Michigan playing Ohio State, of course, Texas Tech at Oklahoma as well. Michigan, Ohio State, that's a blowout. You have 10 years ago. Nice play. CJ Lee. Off to Deshaun Sims. What a play. Yes, sir. Nice play there. Sims, the final guy, the recipient of the pass. And Michigan and Ohio State in football, it's just a matter of what will be the score. <laughs> Holiday inside, and it will stay with the Bruins. You know, but I'll tell you what, Rich Rodriguez will get it done there. If people are patient and understand this guy can motivate, he can win. People are going to have to be patient down in Ann Arbor. I mean, they lost a lot of talent to the NFL. And you expect at some point both football and basketball to get back on top of Ann Arbor. Well, they both should. Have, both have such story traditions. Absolutely. Great school. Let's go back and look at some great passing. That was pretty special stuff by the Wolverines. Yeah, we're going to watch this right here. There's the great look. Nice pass. Great anticipation. They read the defense really well. They were one step ahead. They really reacted exceptionally well there. Good anticipation. Lee. The three rattles out. The rebound by Sims. I think Sims has been very effective off the bench. He has really been effective yep. for that. And Michigan's got it back within six here in the final minute of the first half. Josh Shipp will come back into the game for Michael Roll. I don't think there's any doubt that Michigan's going to be an improved team from last year. I mean, when you think about last year, how much you offensive rebounds, Sims very active. And a slight delay. Drew Holiday lost a shoe, so he had to put that back on, and both coaches will make a sub. We're going to call him Shoes Holiday. I mean, that's what Al McGuire did one year to shoes play. Drew shoes, baby, shoes. We've got about a five-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. So they're going to extend that defense. You're extending it. Dragovich, boy, a quick contested shot from the corner. Not the kind of shot Ben Hallett was looking for. It gives Michigan plenty of time to set up for a final look. A lot of people think you can get that baseline jump shot, but they do a great job rotating out on the baseline with the little guy. Look at Kelvin Brady. Look at the speed and the moves on him. Yeah, not a good play, no, out of control. Tonone got the ball back. Got a break, missed the shot. Back. And the first half comes to a close with the identical score we had at halftime in game one. It was 29-23 Duke in the half before they blew out the Salukis. 29-23 UCLA. Uh, Dickie V was throwing up some bricks there. No, no, wait a minute now. Some bricks. I'm, I'm going to tell you, this guy's unbelievable. The defense has even gone over to the mascot. <laughs> I mean, the guy's playing me. I told him, finally, I said, I'm 69 years old. You're bumping me. You're bruising me. He said, hey, that's hey, Ben Holland's that's style right. defense. That's right. Look at what they did on the glass. Out of rebounding Michigan 24-11. Wow. to 11. Michigan forcing all kinds of turnovers. But the, the three-point shooting, one yeah. for 12. That's the key. That's the key there because because, first of all, that's got to be a strength of Michigan. they got to make some threes if they're going to be effective in the system of John Beeline. Michigan and White, UCLA and Blues. We start the second half. The winner plays Duke in the championship game tomorrow night, 7 Eastern, right here on ESPN2. Steve Douglas knocks it down. It's a four-point game. If you're John Beeline and you went one for 12 from three-point range and you're only down four early in the second half against a top-five team, you got to feel pretty good about things. Well, you know, Douglas, a freshman out of Carmel, Indiana. That area has produced some really good players for Conley and Odin. 
They went to a different high school than he did, but they're from that area. This 1-3-1 one, one to get is still giving the Bruins some trouble. Yeah, they're very active in it. They're really active. Nice cut by Schiff. Blocked from behind by Harris. Yeah, Schiff did a great job going down the lane in that defense. You know, one of the ways to beat that defense is to beat it in transition. Yeah. To utilize the kind of speed and quickness they have with Collison, Schiff, and Holiday, and try to beat it in transition rather than five on five. He went down the lane, but a great defensive play from the back. Held ball, and the arrow 